<laughs> Bats are often feared, but very critical animals to our ecosystems. They're very interesting animals. Besides just hanging upside down and being able to fly as a mammal, they do lots of other things. There are fish-eating bats that eat fish and can actually detect a minnow with its fin just two millimeters above the water. The largest bat in the world is six feet wingspan, which is pretty amazing. And the smallest mammal in the world is the bumblebee bat, which is the size of a bumblebee and weighs as much as a penny. As a wildlife rehabilitator, I'll get a bat in that has a big hole in its wing. And as long as no bones are broken, that hole will actually heal up over the course of a week or two, and the bat will be able to fly again just fine and can be released. This is Zoe. She is an African straw-colored flying fox bat, and she is native to the African continent and Madagascar. She is a fruit-eating bat. She does not echolocate, and that's a difference between insectivorous bats and fruit bats. Generally speaking, bats that have very large eyes and relatively small ears compared to the size of their head are not echolocating animals. The little tiny insectivorous bats have very large large ears compared to the size of their head and very tiny eyes and you can bet if you see a bat like that 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 bat is an insect eater and an echolocator. One of the most amazing things about bats is their ability to use echolocation. Echolocation is a sixth sense for them. It helps to guide them during the darkness of the night. It's a sound that they emit that goes out and finds anything that might be in their way and sends the sound back. And the faster the sound gets, they know they're getting closer. Through echolocation, they can not only tell if they're heading towards something, but they can also tell how dense something is, whether it's a piece of steel, or a tree, or most importantly, a thin little moth, which is what they're really out there looking for. And the sense really helps them do their hunting for moths during the evening.